Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 8, I believe, of Quest for Creative. Yeah, it's hard to count one number at a time when you're doing it one number per day. Um, <laughs> I get confused fairly easily, but that's, that's, that's to be expected. Um... Woo, yeah, that's still going. Uh, so, uh, you might instantly notice that there is a slight change to my hearts. Um, there's a story behind that, and I'll start from the beginning. So, yesterday we made this guy, my Cutlass. And I don't know why, but I felt like naming him Cutlass Supreme, so I did. Um, and uh, so, after I signed off, you know, finished the episode, I decided, you know what, let's go into the Nether and let's see if we can get some Nether Skulls. That's what we'll do in the next episode. We'll go kill a Wither. Did I say nether skulls? Wither skulls. And we'll go kill a wither in the next episode. So, yeah, sure, that's great. So I started flying off towards the portal over there, and then I went, no, wait, let's make that other sword thingamabob. Um, what's this thing called? This guy right here, the big, huge, the cleaver. Yeah, because he it has the natural ability of beheading. So that would be insanely useful if I'm looking for heads. I'm like, okay, so I'll, I, I'll, I made that. I figured it wasn't going to be anything impressive, and uh, so I made it off camera, you know, and had some fun with that. Boop. And, uh, yeah, so I made that, and I came up with this guy right here. The, yeah. 23 attack damage. Yeah. Um, 23 attack damage, I put three layer levels of sharpness on it where this guy's got four levels of sharpness on it and it's only got 17 attack damage so it's got three levels of sharpness it's got its moss it's got a level or it's got full looting three on there yeah <laughs> so um screw the cutlass we're keeping my cleaver, and yes, I call it get some head because that's the yeah, that's its entire purpose in life, is to get heads. Um, and that is in this chest right here. It succeeded in its job. <laughs> I got eight wither skulls. Uh, I got eight wither skulls. I put uh, looting three on it, so I got a bunch of necrotic bones, uh, and I already had. I had one of these red hearts, and I got three more. So now I have, not that one, this one. Four of these red heart canisters, and you max out at ten. Uh, then you have to go on to the yellow hearts and the green hearts. Now, honestly, I don't know how to get either of them. I think I think you can get the yellow hearts from the wither. But I have no idea how you're supposed to get the green hearts. Um, but today we are going to find out if we can get a yellow heart from a, a wither, but I, the main thing I want to do is test out this sword, see how absolutely badass it is, because we were one-shotting zombies, the full health zombies, with diamond armor and everything, uh, with the other sword. So, I mean, what can we do with something that's a hell of a lot more <laughs> yeah plus remember I still have this exo goggles with the plus six attack damage um, though I might have to do some math I don't know but remember how in the last episode I mentioned that we could do the plus however many attack damage with the uh, quartz blocks or we could do the plus whatever percentage attack damage with diamonds. I may have to look into the diamonds and see if this would actually get me a percentage increase greater than six. I'll have to do the math on that. I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, not that chest. I should have enough diamonds to test with. I mean, I've got 28 diamond blocks, though I think it's diamond blocks that you actually need to use. Either way, I have a buttload of diamonds, and they're not exactly hard to get in this mod pack. Um, so I'm going to do that, and I'll let you guys know how that turns out. Um, there is one more thing I want to do before I go off and go find a safe place to kill the wither. And I want to ask you guys a favor. 
Um, I really like my texture pack, and my texture pack is Faithful 32. But you can see on quite a few things, um, well, okay, it actually is kind of hard to see on quite a few things because a lot of these things have high resolution to begin with. Uh, hang on. I know where we can go. Nope, turn into a bat. Thank you. Oh, right here. Yeah, like right here. That's the basic 16-bit texture for Tinker's Construct. Um, now, I went poking around today looking for texture packs, and I found two of them. Uh, there's the Sortex Technic Attack of the B Team texture pack, uh, which looks like this. Bloop. And... I don't really like it a lot. I, I, I don't. I mean, it looks pretty as hell. But I don't really like it. And we are still missing a couple of textures. Like, uh, the witchery stuff's missing. What is this over here? Um, I mean, these are birch logs, right? Yeah, birch wood. Oh, but the leaves are, the leaves are updated. Okay, I thought those weren't, but they are. The cows. I mean, we do have a lot of textures in here, and I'm quite glad that it's there. But I don't, I don't really like this texture pack. I, I really don't. Uh, the other texture pack I have is the one that uh, Generic B uses, the Sfax texture pack, and that looks like this. Come on, done. Thank you. Now, to be perfectly honest, when I first downloaded this texture pack, I was thinking, you know, I'm just going to download it for example purposes, but I'm not going to like it too much. But now that I'm seeing it up close, I do kind of like it. Um, it seems to have all of the textures. Uh, somebody was nice enough to make all of the textures for this, and it looks kind of nice. Um, but I like Faithful 32 better. I like the Faithful texture packs but with higher resolution. So if somebody could point me to or possibly create a Faithful 32 texture pack, though I like this, I gotta admit, I do like that, uh, for Attack of the B Team, I would be like overjoyed. I would be thrilled. However, honestly, I doubt. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's take a whoop, nap real quick. Grow up for a second. Come on. There we go. Sleepy time. Uh, yeah, so if somebody could be nice and do that, I would be overjoyed. I doubt it, though. <sighs> I am going to very quickly switch back to Faithful 32. And, uh, yeah. But, well, I'm going to keep it in Faithful 32 because that's, that's how I see everything that's how i know what everything is i'm used to it i'll be, i'm willing to learn another texture pack i'm just i i just want to find one that i like and so far the best one that i like is faithful 32 um there's also faithful 64 and faithful 128 but i don't think they're made by the same guy um and i don't like going above 32 really uh sfax i had was in 128 just because well it was there and that was the recommended one. And it actually doesn't cause that many FPS issues. Um, I am going to dump everything in my backpack real quick. All of my really useful stuff. And I'm going to dump my backpack. I'm going to get rid of my backpack. Uh, shove it somewhere. So if I do die, I don't have to worry about it. Bloop. Okay, so backpack away. Um, yeah, I'm missing a lot of my stuff, but I got my food, I got my get some sword, my bow, and I got all the parts I need for the wither. Let's put them down there so I have my potions of regeneration. I made these just before recording. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go really far away and look for some place that's relatively flat. Like this right here would be perfect. But I want to use this area, so I don't want to destroy it. Uh, so I'm going to go track somewhere else down. I guess I could have dug a cave. No, nah, not going to worry about that. So I shall be right back.
Well, this looks like an interesting place to do it. It almost seems almost like a natural arena. We have a winner. Funk. All right, so let us make this guy. If I can remember how to make it. Uh, plunk, plunk. Oh, do I really want to do this? Probably not. <laughs> I don't have much luck fighting withers. Um, my armor is not that great right now. I do have a bunch of potions of regeneration. And I got a wicked sword. Now, well, here we go. Run away and hide. <laughs> Hi, guy. Oh, he ducked. Ow. Man, that guy was good. I mean, the first thing he did was shoot at me. <laughs> Holy crap. Did I just two-shot a wither? I just two-shot a wither. Yes, the wither gives the yellow hearts. Um, yeah, and how do I make those? Oh, I need red heart canisters. A notchy an apple, I believe that is. And a miniature yellow heart, which I have the miniature yellow heart right now. Well, one of them anyways, but I just two shot a wither. <clears throat> and here I was worried. I was all prepared. I had potions of regeneration and everything, and I just two shot a wither. <clears throat> I wonder if I could make a sword that could one shot a wither. Probably not. But that would be interesting. If I sacrificed luck and... Uh, well, it might help if I go in the right direction. If I sacrifice luck and uh, uh, repair, I could get two more levels of uh, quartz on it. That would increase its attack damage a bit. And then I could use extra modifiers and increase the attack damage even more. Hmm. I'd have to repair it manually, but I mean that could be done. Just gotta have the 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 the, the hard to pronounce them, and that would work great. Hmm. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna fly back to my place. I'm actually gonna go to the Nether, get some more soul sand because I don't have enough. My infinite soul sand generator doesn't work fast enough. Uh. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to test this with the, uh, the, the, the other sword that I can't remember the name of. Cutlass Supreme, that guy. We're going to test it with the Cutlass Supreme and see how much damage it can do. And that one, then we'll have a comparison. And see, yeah, that kind of thing. Plus, I'll have two hearts and two nether stars to play with. Uh, what can you make with a nether star? Let's find out. Uh, let me see. We can make a beacon. That's tempting. Uh, ancient staff topper, which is the to get to the uh, 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 promised land. That's what it's called. I want to do that. There's something in the promised land that I want, and I can't for the life of me remember what it is. Um, but I hesitate to go into the promised land because the last time I went into the promised land, from then on, it just kept lagging out my game. The game would freeze up for like 30 seconds. And then play again. And it drove me bonkers. Uh, a beacon again. Apparently we can make two different types of beacons. 138, 138. I have no idea why that's an NEI twice. Uh, player interface. Which, yeah, I think I know what that does. I'm not 100% sure though. Uh, void bramble witchery. Statue of the goddess. Oh god, I need four of them. Um... I don't know what that does. I'm going to have to look into Witchery. I bet you Witchery does some really cool stuff. Porta Spawner. No idea what that does. Yeah, I'm going to have to start looking into things because, to be 100% honest, I'm starting to run out of ideas. Um, I mean, okay, I admit I could probably go for another 20 or 30 episodes and just building infinite machines. But they're all variations on stuff I've already built. Um I mean, if you guys want to see that, just let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. But uh, I think it would be better video if I went a 
you know, and started doing different things, creative things. Like, I bet you I could have some serious fun. Oh, there's a desert right here. Hmm. Oh, but I don't have to worry about that now because I have infinite sand. What the? Wait. Shit. Um. Crap. <laughs> I don't know how to get home. Um. Oh, okay. That's where I first started. So home is this way. That's spawn. I don't know why that marker took me to spawn instead of home. But whatever. Anyways, I, I'm going to go to the nether, get some soul sand, and I'll be right back. And here we are back. Here we... Sometimes I can't talk. Has anybody noticed that? Hey, random question. That zero that's in the upper left-hand corner of my screen, what the hell is that? <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but it's always zero. Hmm. Whatever. Um... Let's see, what, what was I going to say now? I forget. Oh, yes, I was going to point this guy out. Um, I just got this guy. I mean, like, 30 seconds ago, I got the creeper trophy. I was flying around, and uh, I had just slept on my roof, and there was a creeper right here. So I came s s flying down and killed it, and it dropped a trophy. I was still flying at the time. I was using my Tinker's Construct Sword. So, for anybody out there who cares uh beat up a low yeah you ain't watching but uh it is physically possible to get a trophy from flying with the ticker contract sword you just have really shitty luck hmm. anyways moving on um so i've got my cutlass supreme out the soul sand the wither skulls and everything else is going to be identical my armor is the same the glasses are the same the goggles they do something and, uh, yeah, so, um, I actually did this once and found, uh, the portal to the end. I did that on the last, on the community mod server. <laughs> I was just flying around, looking, I was looking for something else. I don't even remember what it was. I think I was just cacti. And just, I'm like, there's the end. Holy sh- <laughs> Whoa, there's a mountain here. All right, so I will head back to the arena Oop, I should probably head back to my place and actually put a waypoint there. And then I'll head to the arena. Then I'll be right back. And we're back again. And we're getting ready to try to kick the Wither's ass with the Cutlass Supreme. See how good that does. Um, now, I got a question. Didn't Snowballs usually max stack at 16? Um, yeah. Whatever. So, uh, what time is it? It's nighttime. Um, pff, I don't have my sleeping bag, so screw it. Run away, run away, run away. All right, let's see what we can do with the wither. Aim straight at him this time and fire. Hey, I hit him. Come back here. Come back here. Okay, I three shot at the wither. Got the heart. Where's the nether star? There's the nether star. Okay, so the Cutlass Supreme does... Will three-shot a wither. And the Get Some Head will two-shot a wither. And you know I'm going to be testing a system to one-shot a wither. But I'm going to have to get more wither heads. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I actually maxed that at eight. I actually went hunting for about two hours last night... And I maxed out at eight heads in 15 minutes. And for the rest of the time, I couldn't get anything. I got a bunch of necrotic bones, so it wasn't completely worthless. But yeah, that, that was it. Alrighty, so... Um, can I use the yellow hearts at the same time as I use the red hearts? Is there a point for me to use the yellow hearts at the same time I use, or without maxing out the red hearts, I should say? Considering I have to use a red heart to make the yellow heart, and it kind of does the same thing. It gives me one extra heart of damage. Uh, what the hell? What? I don't have my extra four hearts. Oh, whatever. Um, 
I'm gonna have to look into that. I should activate the uh, the, the the health counter on the tab menu. That way I can see how many hearts the server thinks I have. Because, yeah, I'm missing hearts now. Hmm. All right, well, that was a somewhat productive episode. Um, and I guess I'll s pretty much throw this out here like I always do. Uh, you know, if you got any ideas, throw them out to me. If you like the idea of me basically doing everything in case possibly I think of something that you don't, uh, let me know. Give me a like, give me a comment, whatever. You know, it's all good. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.